Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today, I got another Ranger vlog for you. It's been a little while, but it's time to talk Power Rangers. So, these Ranger vlogs are basically little vlogs where I kind of talk to you guys about something or show you something fun that is specifically Power Rangers related and geared towards you, the Power Rangers fans that watch my videos. Um, and so this topic is going to be about hashtag Power Force Lives. So Power Force Lives, if you are on Twitter recently, you've probably seen tweets going around with that hashtag. You may or may not know what it is. Uh, if you weren't on Twitter, then you may not know at all uh, what was going on. So I wanna really give an explanation of what it is, what it really means to me, and kind of just talk about it and stuff. So. Let's, let's begin, first of all, with a little bit of background explanation, right? The Power Force. What is the Power Force? Some of you may or may not know. And so this was a few years ago. Saban Brands, uh, back when um, uh, Eli Deckel was, was, was running um, Saban Brands, he had this idea, or at least Saban Brands uh, had the idea, to put together a group of fans uh, called the Power Force. And so these fans would basically be sort of working for Saban Brands in a way, in a capacity that they would be able to send them information or different things and they could help distribute it. They all had some sort of platform to help promote the show. So it wasn't necessarily like the best fans or who are the biggest fans, but it was people that had some kind of internet presence. Maybe they had a website, a podcast, a YouTube channel, social media presence, some, some sort of presence in the community where they would be able to help spread the word about stuff Power Rangers related. So it was like Saban Brands' own group of fans that uh, were dedicated and, and, and able to, to spread the word about uh, information and help promote Power Rangers, basically. So um, the way that people joined the Power Force was there was an application process. Uh, so they, they said, anybody interested, you can apply. I can't even remember what the application was. I think like... It asked about like why you want to be in the Power Force or what you do. I, I, I honestly don't even remember exactly. Uh, but they picked, I, I want to say it was like 20 people, I think, if I remember correctly. Something like that. Um, and I was not selected. Um, but, but a couple of people I knew were in the fandom. Um, and so that happened. And then about two years after that, um, they decided, you know what, we're going to add some new members. But this time, people wouldn't apply to it. Instead, some of the existing Power Force members um, nominated other people to be selected for, uh, for Power Force. And so through that process, um, I was chosen to be one of the Power Force members. So I was not in the initial Power Force, but I was in the next wave that had, was it like 10 new people? Something like that. A couple other people had dropped out and stuff, so I don't remember the exact numbers, but roughly 10. Um... And so, yeah, so then we were chosen to be a part of the, the Power Force. Um, and so basically what happened is when I was in the Power Force, for the most part, really, we'd get a couple emails from Saban Brands every now and then. And, and uh, you know, they usually it was really like, oh, hey, there's an upcoming episode. So here's a, a picture from the upcoming episode and you can share it. Um, every now and then we got like a... Uh, like a little box of some toys or something like I've done a couple videos if I've done some unboxings I got the the Red Ranger like uh, uh, Morph suit the Halloween costume thing. Um, so that was sent by Saban Brands um, You know, but there really wasn't to be honest too much I mean th there was a couple emails here and there and stuff. They, they actually talked about uh, creating a whole platform rangernation.com where the Power Force could help them and, and be involved and, and maybe even create content for the site and just kind of make this a fan-driven uh, platform. Uh, and so then they ended up, that kind of disappeared, and then they released RangerNation.com and it had nothing to do with the Power Force. And then they took it down and they just re-released it again, also still nothing to do with the Power Force and filled with a whole bunch of errors and it was a mess. But anyways, I'm getting off track. Point being, um, the Power Force never really did much. Um, they did in the past help with like the Trivial Pursuit game that came out and stuff. So people would submit questions and stuff to be on the Trivial Pursuit game. You know, so there are a couple little things like that, but then it kind of just fizzled out. Um, and currently it's basically dead. Uh, we have our last email from Saban Brands was uh, a, almost a year ago, probably. Um, 
Really, the only thing now that the Power Force gets is Saban Brands basically took the email list of everybody in the Power Force, they gave it to Lionsgate, and they gave it to Boom Studios. So Lionsgate actually would contact us sometimes about Power Rangers movie-related things, um, because they actually have a PR company that really handles stuff like this. So, for example, when the Power Rangers movie came out, we got the movie... Um, early on Blu-ray, and I emailed them and asked, like, hey, what are some of the special features that are on certain editions of the movie? And they emailed me back and told me. So I had a contact in Lionsgate through the Power Force. Uh, probably the best thing that happened was the Power Rangers movie premiere that I got invited to, which was an incredible experience that was amazing. Um, and so technically, I guess you could say it's because I was in Power Force that I was invited, but it wasn't Saban Brands doing it. They just forwarded the email list to Lionsgate, and Lionsgate handled all that stuff. Now that the movie is done, we haven't heard from Saban Brands. Um, they're just they're over it. Power Force just they don't, they don't care about Power Force anymore, I guess. Um, and Boom Studios they forward the email list to Boom Studios, so I get the Boom Studios comics every month, um, which is cool. But if I if I didn't get them, I would you know go buy them anyways. The comics are incredible. So um, so there's that. But beyond that, like, that's it. There's no... Saban Brands doesn't do anything with the Power Force anymore. Um, it's now through Boom Studios or, well, Lionsgate, now that stuff's over, but it's through other companies. So the point that I'm getting at is Power Force is basically dead. Um, but there's sort of been this, this stigma, I guess you could say, in the community where some people are, like, are upset about Power Force. You know, they think that the fact that there is a power force really divides the fandom. And and I get it. You know, I, I, I do understand people that are the other people out there because there are so many other big fans and people that do so much great stuff in the community that aren't in power force, you know? And there are some members of power force, to be completely honest, that don't do crap. Like, they don't do anything. So it really goes both ways. And so I, I, I get that, you know, like, I, I get that there's some people out there that are upset and, and, and would feel like they deserve to be a part of Power Force, right? Uh, so it started to create this sort of rift in the fandom. Um, there's the Power Force and then everybody else. Um, but people in the Power Force, at least the people that I know, never meant for anything like that to happen. Like, we never thought that we were above anyone else by any means, you know? And so... Um, and the fact of the matter is, Saban Brands doesn't even care about the Power Force anymore. They, they basically dropped it. Like I said, it's dead. Uh, and so there's sort of just been this stigma around, around the Power Force. And anytime even people mention the words Power Force, there's somebody out there that's so upset. And they're just like, oh my gosh, the Power Force, like how these guys, like they're so um, above us and they act like they know all this stuff. Like, no, trust me, we don't know anything we know nothing. They don't contact us at all. Like, it's Power Force is dead. Um, and so, it, it was a bit of a struggle. Um, and, and by the way, I also want to clarify as well, because there's some people out there... That, it, it's hard to really uh, answer everybody's questions and stuff, so, so I hope I, I, I cover it. But I know that one of the other things out there that people have seen is, well, I saw some folks getting... Um, uh, some gifts and stuff still from, from Saban Brands, like, uh, when they announced the, the 25 for 25, like, the, the special, uh, Power Rangers things for the 25th anniversary, there's a couple people that got some gifts from Saban Brands. It was a little letter and everything, so they're like, oh, so the Power Force is getting stuff. No, the Power Force is not getting stuff. Power Force is seemingly dead. What it is, is there are a couple people in the Power Force that also just have made connections with Saban Brands or Bandai or so on outside of the Power Force, you know? So, hey, I, I'm, if they want to do that, that's totally, you know, on them. If Like, that's, you know, fine or whatever. Um, so, you know, I, you've, you may have seen some other, some other folks out there um, that do have those connections and stuff, but that has nothing to do with the Power Force. So I feel like some of that furthered the image a little bit because they're like oh well these people are still getting stuff and 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 so that's not fair you know and then the other part is some people thought that because you're in the power force and you're getting free stuff you're not going to be um 100 honest with your opinions because you don't want to bite the hand that feeds you so to speak right but have you guys watched my videos or my live streams and stuff have you watched other people in the power force I've told you straight up, I think Ninja Steel is one of the worst seasons of Power Rangers. 
I, I mean, I'm completely honest with you. You know, there was a comment on, I did a video about Power Rangers Hyperforce. And there was a comment on there like, well, yeah, I mean, you're only making a video because they're like, no, what was it? it was, did Saban Brands ask you to promote Hyperforce? No, again, Saban Brands doesn't care about the Power Force anymore. Um, like, the Power Force wants to be able to help and, and do things to help the fandom. You know, like they released a new Ranger Nation website. There's so many errors on it. The Power Force can do so much to help and, and make things better. Saban Brands doesn't even want that help, you know? And so... The, the fact of the matter is some people automatically start assuming because you're in the Power Force, you're always going to say good things about the show. You're always going to support it. Well, one, I am always going to support it because it's Power Rangers and I love Power Rangers, but I'm not forced to say anything. I will 100% speak my opinion. I, I have no problem hiding it. And same goes for other people in the Power Force um, that, that I know of, at least. Um, you know, I, I can't necessarily speak for everyone, but I know of some people, at least, that will always be honest with you, right? Um, and so there, there's always been that stigma of power force and, you know, can we trust them, this, that. Like, people just always start to jump to assumptions and, and, and think, like, okay, they're, they're, not, they're not always going to be completely honest. They're going to be sellouts. They're, they're always getting free stuff. Saban Brands is always giving them all sorts of info and everything. No, not at all. Like, I'm, I'm here to tell you straight up, not at all. And so... There was a group of us in the Power Force um, that, that started talking. Because um, I'm friends with a lot of people in the fandom, and, and some of them happen to be in the Power Force. So this group of us was um, myself. Um, there was uh, Chris from Toku Nation. Um, Eric, uh, Trekkie B47 uh, from Ranger Command Power Hour. Um, there was uh, Collector Shuki, Brian. And also um, Jay from Morphin Legacy. Um, and... So the five of us started talking, and we're like, you know what? Like, Power Force is dead. Saban Brand doesn't want to do anything with it. And, like, people just have this, this image of what Power Force is, and it's not really fair. Like, the whole point of Power Force was we want to help promote the franchise and support it and everything, right? But who's to say that, like, why are we the only ones that can do that? Like, if Saban Brands doesn't want to take advantage of people that can help, I mean... The fact of the matter is we're a giant community. There's so much that we can all do together. And people that weren't in the Power Force still have so much to offer anyways. We're no different than anyone else. We're not any better than anyone else. Um, and so, you know, we're like, you know what? Okay, Power Force is dead. But really, the essence of Power Force, the, what, what makes it so special, like the, the super fans that really want to help promote the franchise and spread their love of the franchise, well, the essence of Power Force lives within all of us. And so that's where the hashtag Power Force Lives comes from. It has nothing to do with Power Force is coming back and Saban Brands is sending us all sorts of stuff again. No, it's Power Force is seemingly dead. Uh, now, if they do happen to contact us again later or something, I'll let you guys know. But as of now, I don't have any <laughs> expectations of them contacting us again. Uh, but, so Power Force Lives was a way for us to basically say the essence of Power Force, the, the community, lives in all of us. Everyone is a part of Power Force. You know, maybe not this official term that Saban Brands has, but who cares about what's official or not? Let's take over that term. Let's take the word Power, power Force and that make that everybody's, because it really is everyone's, right? Everyone should be able to help spread their love for the franchise and promote the franchise if they want to. And so that is what hashtag Power Force Lives is. So people started going online, posting hashtag Power Force Lives with why the Power Rangers franchise is so important to them. You know, what got them hooked on the franchise, what it means to them, the, the, the friends and family that they've made through the community, um, and just spreading all sorts of positive messages online. Um, and so, yeah, there were a couple of negative Nancys out there, but those are the people that are always negative, in my opinion, and, and they just didn't get it. The, the point of Power Force Lives is focus on what brings us all together as a community, this fandom, you know? And so just going online and seeing how the hashtag really picked up amongst so many people on Twitter, it was so cool. It was so special to see everybody sharing their stories uh, and just seeing what it was all about. Um, and so I encourage all of you, if you have Twitter, go on there and, and tweet out your, your thoughts about Power Rangers and what this community means to you, 
using hashtag PowerForceLives. You know, if you want to find a creative way to help spread your love of Power Rangers, especially during this 25th anniversary, tag it with hashtag PowerForceLives, you know? Like, spread the word. And, and this is not just a right now, let's just do it, and then people will be over it, and that's it. Like, we want to keep this going throughout the 25th anniversary and, and hopefully beyond. Um, and so this is not just a, a quick little movement and then we're all just going to forget about it. Like, this is really championing the fact that we are all a part of the Power Force and we all together uh, form this amazing community. Like, I've made so many incredible friends in this community, um, and, it, and it's so special. Like, I, you know... Um, even getting to hang out at Power Morphicon with so many people was incredible. Uh, the Power Rangers movie premiere uh, through Lionsgate and stuff, getting to go to that was cool, but what made it extra special was doing it with my friends. You know, like, I initially thought, I was like, okay, it's in LA, I'm not going to be able to go. But as soon as I started to see my friends, you know, Chris and Eric and Brian were all going, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I can't miss experiencing it with them. That's what really pushed me over the edge and said, you know what? I gotta, you know, book my flight, I gotta do this, and, and it was such an incredible experience getting it to share with them. Like, um, it was it was so special. Um, unfortunately, as of now, I'm not planning to be at Power Morphicon this year, and it's, like, killing me seeing all my friends make plans and everything. Like, ah, oh, I, you know, it's it's gonna be tough. I, I would love to, but oh, it's, like, it's been, it's become such a family, you know, and seeing all of you guys, the people that comment on my videos and everything, uh, the people that join in on the live streams, you all are a part of this community. You all are a part of the Power Force. You know, like we are all together the Power Force. It lives through all of us. And we should all just celebrate this franchise. And that doesn't mean ignore the negative stuff. Uh, you know, that's another, you know, misconception. Just because we're using hashtag Power Force Lives and being positive and this and that doesn't mean we can't share our criticisms. If you don't like something, say it. If you don't like Ninja Steel or Super Ninja Steel or whatever, that's totally fine, you know? But at the end of the day, there's a reason that you still watch Power Rangers, right? There's a, there's a reason that this franchise has meant so much to you. And that's what we want to focus on um, for hashtag Power Force Lives. You know, like for me personally, this franchise has just been something that's like a constant throughout my life. You know, like it, it really teaches these, these great values that I really uh, feel like are so important to, to young kids and, and it really instilled in me growing up. Um, and so that really helped me grow into the person that I am. Um, and then beyond that, it's incredible for me to see Power Rangers exist for kids of a new generation. You know, like when my cousins were growing up, some of them would be watching and I was like, it felt so special to me, you know? If I'm ever at like Toys R Us or something and I see a little kid walking down the toy aisle looking at the Power Rangers toys, like it just, it warms my heart to see this franchise that I grew up meant so much to me be able to mean something for other people growing up, you know? Like, every season of Power Rangers was someone's first season. You know, to the people that grew up with the franchise, it's like Mighty Morphin, right? That's like the big one because everyone grew up on it. It's the beginning. But really, like, even something like Ninja Steel, I may not like it, but there's there are kids out there that are watching Ninja Steel right now and they're falling in love with it, and they're growing up with that show, and that is what they're going to remember for the rest of their life. Like, just think about that. This franchise that I grew up with, that started when I was three and a half years old, there's another three and a half year old right now that is falling in love with it all over again, and they're going to spend their whole life with that franchise being there, uh, like, to, to help them grow up. And hopefully it continues for many, many years and is still on TV and stuff, right? Like, that's... That's incredible to me. And just to see the community of people that have formed around that, like making these YouTube videos and getting to meet all of you and other content creators, um, my other friends that that um, you know, have YouTube channels or podcasts or websites or whatever it is, being able to, to, to communicate with them and stuff, like it's become such a community and, and it's so incredible having this, this group of supportive people out there and, and it's so special to me. Um, and of course, just, you know, seeing all the, the crazy suits and all that stuff, like it just, I don't know, there's something about it that just, it clicks with me and it's so much fun to see, you know? So it's got the fun to it, but it really does ultimately have that, that meaning for me. And that's why it stuck with me, you know, like to some people, you know, I tell them that, you know, I make Power Rangers videos and stuff. And some people are like, oh, that's cool. And then others like kind of look at you like, really? 
like Power Rangers, you still watch that? But yes, like it, it's something that just stuck with me. It's something that it really has, like I said, the values um, that I believe are really needed today uh, more than ever. And, and it's something that I feel like it's so special seeing people grow up with it and, and just seeing this franchise, especially the fact that it's the 25th anniversary this year. That's insane to me. And, and that's why it, it really, like the anniversary episode that's coming up, I don't know how it's going to be. It could be terrible, but I'm excited about it because, it, again, it's celebrating so many seasons, potentially, with people coming back and stuff. And then it reminds me of all these different eras, all these different points in my life, you know, that, that I can I can go back and think of. And, and like, um, you know, Power Rangers Hyperforce is another fantastic example. The Boom Studios comics are awesome, right? But particularly with Hyperforce, they're jumping into different areas of uh, eras of Power Rangers. And so, for example, they just recently jumped into the Mystic Force era. And so, you know, when they're at that point in time, I go back and think, like, Mystic Force. Well, that's basically around when I first started doing YouTube videos. And some of Mystic Force stuff really inspired me to even make videos to begin with. Like, this YouTube channel started off with some stuff from Power Rangers Mystic Force. Um, and so it just really reminds me of, like, those times in my life and where I was at that point in life and... And, and it's so special. Like, I remember when Power Rangers was canceled. And then when it came back and they were showing the original Mighty Morphin, the reversioned episodes on TV, I was, um, you know, at my apartment uh, at, uh, at college. And, you know, I'd watch it. My roommates would sometimes be watching and stuff. And I remember going to, like, Walmart or something and finding the Mighty Morphin uh, 2010 toys and coming back. And, like, just that feeling of, oh, my gosh, the franchise is back. And my roommates and stuff were, like, Oh, this is kind of cool to see, like, the original Power Rangers back again and stuff. Like, just, it brings back all these different memories, all these feelings that, that I grew up with. And and um, it's been such a, a huge part of my life for so long. And so, um, you know, again, that's just really what it means to me. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, this this whole hashtag Power Force Lives really just reminds me of that. And to see other people's stories... Uh, because I have my story, but there's so many other people in this community, and to see their stories of what Power Rangers means to them is absolutely incredible. So I I just, I truly appreciate everyone that shared their stories with that hashtag, and, and I hope you continue to do so, and continue to just, just support the franchise that you love, you know? That's really what it's all about. So if, if Saban Brands won't, you know, do it, if they won't have people in the community help improve the, the, the franchise and do all sorts of stuff, then, then we'll do it on our own. We are all a part of the Power Force, right? The Power Force lives through all of us. And so that's really, you know, the, the essence of this, this movement. So um, hopefully that made sense. Hopefully, um, you know, you, you all participate in this hashtag. Um, but uh, I just wanted to share my thoughts on hashtag Power Force Lives. So definitely um, check that out. And yeah, that's the Ranger Vlog, guys. Um, Lots of exciting stuff this year for the 25th anniversary. So many great videos and things that I planned, and I can't wait to share all this stuff with you. Um, it's going to be super cool. So thank you all for sticking with me through all this. I really appreciate that. Like it, it truly, truly means a lot. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you later. Make sure you are all spreading the word with hashtag PowerForceLives on Twitter. And if you don't have a Twitter, Post in the comments below, you know, or both, you know, post on Twitter and post here. Tell me what Power Rangers as a franchise means to you. Tell me, you know, what this community means to you. Um, I'd love to hear all your stories and see what you have to say. So please comment below with all that. Uh, definitely check it out. Um, I'd love to see, you know, what you guys have to say. And uh, yeah, you know, it's, let's just spread the love. It's the 25th anniversary, guys, of Power Rangers. Super exciting times. Uh, check out the Boom Studios comics, Hyperforce, because those things are really killing it on celebrating the anniversary. Lots of awesome stuff there. So let's just enjoy it. Let's have fun with it. It's Power Rangers, guys. Super exciting. Uh, so yeah, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you later.